Thank you, Harry. We're here at Rhode Island Tennis Academy. Inside today, it's raining badly outside, and we're gonna teach you how to hit a backhand the way the best players do it. Nadal, Murray, Davenport. We're gonna teach it to you right now, so get your DVRs ready. Let's go. Demonstrate today we have Jared Donaldson, number one in the country, 12 and under. One of my best students. Are you ready, Jared? Definitely. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna learn today is the grip. First, you're gonna take your left hand. If you are left-handed, do the opposite of everything I'm doing. Take your left hand and put it on top of the racket like this, at the top of the grip. Then put your right hand comfortably here, like the hammer grip we learned earlier for serves. The second most important thing, of course, is the split step. The split step is the little jump you take right before the opponent hits the ball so your leg muscles are ready to react to where your opponent is hitting the ball. The next thing is establish your distance. You gotta be far away from the ball so you can have enough room to hit the ball. You don't wanna be jammed. It'll cost you an unforced error. So your legs are moving and you're trying to establish the distance. At the same time your legs start to move, your racket has to start to move and your shoulders and hips rotate to get in position to hit the ball. There are different ways to take the racket back. We're gonna choose a circular motion because it gives you a little bit more rhythm. So when the racket starts to go back, go up a little, don't go up too high, go up a little, and that is the circular motion you want. I can't emphasize this enough. Your feet and your swing are married to each other. As soon as you start to move your feet to get the ball, the swing needs to start too. And at that point, the racket should not stop moving until you hit the ball. So now the feet, there are many different stances when it comes to back end. We're gonna learn the neutral stance, which I think is the basic stance at this point, the one that will help you the most to hit the ball the right way. Okay, so the footwork is like this. You take your split step, take a shuffle, and then a step forward. A forward straight ahead in front of you. Don't cross your leg when you take the step. Split, shuffle, step in. The neutral stance is good for you because it's gonna allow you to turn your shoulders and hips easy onto the shot. Now we're gonna pay attention to the way the racket face is looking when you take the racket back. You don't wanna look it down, you don't wanna look it up, you wanna make sure it's straight up and down when you take it back in that circular motion we talked about earlier. So you start, and when you get to back here, you're gonna see that the racket face is facing the side. Now you're ready to go forward with your swing. So we're at this position and we're getting ready to hit the ball. Now bring the racket down, we got the circular motion, don't stop it, bring it down. And now you're gonna see, before you hit the ball, that your right hand is on top, the left one is on the bottom, and we're gonna get ready to snap. Look at this left arm, it's extended in front of me. You don't wanna be here when you hit the ball, you wanna be here. Very important. So we're at this position and we're getting ready to hit the ball. You're getting ready to snap. What is the snap? The snap is that part of the swing where this hand that is in the bottom changes to the top and the top to the bottom. At the same time you do this, your legs unload onto the shot. So snap and legs. When I am on this position, not in my head, it's on my right shoulder looking at the ball that is coming. As my racket starts to go forward and I get ready to snap, notice my head changing shoulders to my left shoulder. That's how you see the pros keeping the head down. Very important, keep your head down to look at the ball. So as we get to the snap part, it's very important that you understand where you need to hit the ball. You don't wanna be reaching to the side, you wanna hit it in front of you. The extension of this arm is very important, so make sure the ball is in front of you. About 130 degrees to your left, so this is 90, this is 180, 135 will be a good, good point of contact for the windshield wiper snap motion to happen. So you hit the ball at 135 degrees and you snap. Now is the follow through. Make sure that left arm stays straight across the body and that is your follow through. At the same time, after you follow through, your left leg needs to release to the left. Follow through, leg. Something very important to realize is that your shoulders and hips play a very important role in this swing. When you start taking the racket back, you gotta make sure you turn both and then at the same time, when you're going forward and you get to the snapping position, now they're facing forward. As you follow through, now you're facing a little bit this way. Very important that your body plays a big role on your shot, otherwise it's gonna be all arm and you'll get injured. 
So you're done hitting the shot. Now you have to recover to the middle. Very important. It's the same recovery all the time. Two steps. You cross over, open, and split. And do it all while you're facing forward with your chest. Okay, so we're done for today. That is the back end for you. There is a lot of information. Make sure you go through it slowly, one step at a time, and you're gonna have the best back end in your club. You can do it. <laughs>